Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Ruger SFAR short frame auto rifle. Now by looking at this, it looks like the size of any modern sporting rifle chambered in 5.56. However, this is chambered in 308. And the only noticeable difference is the size of the mag and the size of the mag well. Other than that, it is very small, very compact, very lightweight, just over six pounds with the SFAR. Cool rifle, we're going to get into it, so let's go ahead and do that. Here's a closer look at the Ruger SFAR, short frame auto rifle, chambered in 308. Most 308 rifles are quite a bit larger. Now this is a 16 inch barrel. It's also available with a 20 inch barrel. This has a mid-length gas system. The 20-inch barrel has a full-length gas system, rifle length. But over here we've got a Magpul SL stock it ships with. Nice stock, it can be switched out with anything else. A Magpul grip, and right underneath it has a slot there with a hex wrench. I'm going to explain that. A 4.5 pound trigger pull. Two-stage trigger. Works great. 20-round Magpul. 308 magazine has an aluminum 15 inch handguard with M lock slots at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. So you could add any accessories you want on there. There's a rail for a front sight. And Ruger calls this two port brake a boomer brake. So reduce the recoil by shifting off those gases in various directions. Very nice rifle. I've had it at the range on several occasions. It's performed very well happy with it ruger has that reputation with rifles people love their rifles and this one's no different offers quite a bit for a short frame 308 rifle the optic i have on here is made by Riton. let's take a closer look at that this is a Riton 5 tactics 1 to 6 magnification by 24 millimeter objective lens perfect for anywhere from 20 to 350 yard range Works great with a 308 where you want to stretch it out a little bit. You know, a, a three times magnifier may not be enough. Very nice optic. Now here's a look at the reticle. I'll zoom in on this. The right time five tactics is an LPVO, low power variable optic. And I currently have it at three, but this throw lever here, just move it over. There's five and a half, wherever you want it. Makes it nice and easy. Flip up caps here with the 24 millimeter objective lens right there. It's also illuminated with a green illumination. This dial here will brighten up the intensity or dim it down. Capped turrets, one half MOA adjustments. There's your elevation and your windage. They call this the Thunder Ranch, which is a suiting name. I like the cantilever mount. Makes it nice and easy with the quick detach mounts right here. It's got that serrated lever, move it in, tighten it onto the rail. You can even move it up a little bit, which I did to give a little more room to charge the rifle. Three and a half inches eye relief, which, which suits this optic and the SFAR very nicely. I think it's a fine optic and it complements the Ruger SFAR in 308. I mentioned the bottom of the grip was a little bit different, and this is why. I've got it sticking out there, but there's a hex wrench. The reason there is a hex wrench on the bottom of the grip is because it has a regulated gas port right there. And that can be adjusted. Now, it ships on setting number three, which is fine for most ammunitions. I've shot steel case, brass case through it, and it is performed with no issues but once it's broken in you want to move that to setting number two and if you shoot it suppressed you want to put it on setting number three you could use that hex wrench but it also has little slots in there where you could take a screwdriver and move it to whatever setting you want to use pretty simple design but i think it's pretty cool the way they did that and, and suppressed shooting has become so popular with both rifles and handguns with more states permitting it, I should say, the manufacturers have adjusted very well by creating something like this, a regulated gas port just for adjustments. 
So I know what you're thinking. How much is the Ruger SFAR? Well, let's first understand that rifles chambered in 308 are pretty expensive. Ruger has this fairly priced at $1,329, whether it's the 16 inch or the 20 inch SFAR. But there it is, made by Ruger. It's a newer release couple months ago happy to have it. it's performed great at the range and i hope to do quite a bit more with it if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe